Hi, I'm Peter Coyote, and the folks from William Henry Knives have come down to the Fox Studios and asked me to say a few words about their knives. I first got interested in knives when I was six years old, and my grandfather took a pocket knife out of his pocket and carved me a willow whistle. And when I was 10, I got a Cub Scout knife. Since then, I've probably never passed more than two days in a row without carrying a knife. It's just an indispensable tool. I have dress knives for my suits, and I've got knives to go fishing, and belt knives and pocket knives. And sometimes you reach a perfect blend of form and aesthetics, things that are perfectly functional and gorgeous to look at. And when I found the William Henry knife site, I thought I'd put it to the test. Their knives were so beautiful, so impeccably designed, that I bought one, and I have to say that I was overwhelmed. It opened and closed like a whisper. I got a Damascus steel blade, which would sharpen up with just a few kisses on a steel. It was a perfect blend of form and function. Matt Conable came down today. He's one of the partners and the designer and showed me the new series of knives that they're going to make in limited sets. And one is more beautiful than the other. I think if you're at all like me, if you'll see one, you'll want 10. I thought it would be uh, just a fitting homage to have a few words to say and to be on this film, which is going to introduce you to the line of William Henry Knives, but also show you something of the artistry that goes into the making of one particular knife. So welcome to the world of William Henry Knives. I'm Peter Coyote, and thank you. Through the centuries, fine art has elevated and enriched our lives. The finest pieces are coveted, collected by connoisseurs, and displayed in museums to be admired for generations. Fine tools as well are the object of deep appreciation as marvels of innovation, function, ingenuity, and craft. Across the ages, master artisans have created tools of such astonishing beauty that they too are elevated to the highest stature. William Henry Knives is a current day builder of extraordinary and distinctive tools, recognized for both their supreme performance and artistic beauty. Work at this level, this pure art of knife making, is rarely seen today. The award-winning cutting instruments from William Henry Knives are world-renowned and are a testament to a studio devoted to both preserving and advancing the art of knife making, honoring the past, while challenging the future. Released each year in extremely limited numbers, these are creations of form and function perfectly integrated as an ultimate expression of beauty, permanently defining just how great a great knife can be. The William Henry design philosophy is simple. Superlative function deserves to be elevated to superlative art. With seemingly effortless transitions between aerospace grade alloys and the finest natural materials, the William Henry Studio demonstrates a precise interplay between elemental function and aesthetic refinement. Each tool a masterpiece, purposefully imbued with a soul, yet born of the world around us, a physical world, one that occasionally requires a sharp edge. William Henry was founded with the vision to design and build the finest cutlery possible. And our art of knife making as it exists today involves a network of artisans who contribute to that singular focus on quality. The closest parallel that I can draw is to a symphony where I wield the conductor's baton. To execute an original design, I seek mastery in every aspect of the piece. And like with the musicians of an orchestra, the virtuoso talents of each player whether in my studio or from the world at large, add texture, nuance, and depth to the aesthetic of the finished product. And the final result of this creative process still takes my breath away. To help you understand the degree of effort and care required to produce these exquisite tools, what follows the story of one William Henry knife from concept to completion.
The process begins with a pencil and paper. Matt then digitizes his original design, and this blueprint serves as the template for the operation to follow. To build this knife, it requires the combined efforts of 30 William Henry artisans, who must perform more than 800 individual operations across a production schedule of almost eight months. The steel for the blade is hand-forged by master bladesmith Mike Norris, using his proprietary process for creating patterned steel called Damascus. Here, he performs the seamless integration of 210 layers of three specialized alloys into a single piece of steel of unparalleled beauty and performance. The exquisite and unique patterns that run through the blades are testaments to Mr. Norris's mastery of this ancient art. These patterns are known as raindrop, ribbon lace, and ladder Damascus. Each billet takes two weeks to produce. The Damascus is cut into blade blanks by a computer-controlled water jet. This high-power tool slices the steel without heat or distortion, ensuring the integrity of the emerging blade. Next, the designer's digital files are loaded and processed by a computer-controlled machining center, and the blades are machined to William Henry's standard tolerance of one-half of one-thousandth of an inch or within one twelfth the thickness of a human hair. After cutting and machining, the blade blanks travel to Seki City, Japan, the birthplace of the incomparable samurai sword. Each and every blade is hand ground and polished by master knife maker Kikuo Matsuda. He creates a sophisticated edge geometry and sculptural elegance unobtainable with modern automated technology. The material for the frame of the knife is hand-forged by Mike Sakmar and Tim Zawada, using their process for creating mokumigane, meaning wood grain metal, from 89 layers of copper, brass, and nickel silver. Only a handful of artisans retain the knowledge and techniques necessary to produce these tapestries in metal. The original digital files are used to create the architecture for the frame of the knife. A computer-controlled machining center cuts the frame from a single billet of makume. Each side is relieved to allow for overlays of fossil ivory. The scales for this knife handle are created from fossil walrus ivory, one of the most exotic materials remaining on Earth. This gem-grade relic from beneath the tundra in Alaska and Siberia ranges from six to 10,000 years old. In the William Henry studio, Craftspeople trained by designer and master knife maker Matt Conable perform the final steps to his exacting standards. The handle parts are assembled and shaped. The seamless fit between the mokume and fossil ivory is a testament to the expert craft required at each step. Next, the piece is hand buffed to a mirror finish. Then the handle is disassembled and cleaned. A special patina is applied to highlight the exquisite pattern and color latent in the makume material. The blade is polished and prepared for acid etching. This final treatment reveals the unique and remarkable beauty of this patterned Damascus steel. A precision engraver creates the William Henry logo and certified serial number. William Henry produces only 50 of these pieces per year. The information is diamond engraved on the leading edge of the frame. 
In the final assembly of the knife, the blade is hand fit to the handle using a range of custom fittings and specialized techniques. Once the perfect balance has been achieved, each screw is thread locked in place with torque that can only be measured by experienced hands. The ivory scales and finishing touches are installed. An 18 karat gold bale with a leather lanyard adorned by matching fossil ivory beads. And after a final check of the fit, finish, and action of the piece, a diamond inlaid thumb peg to match the diamond button lock release. The last step, designer Matt Conable personally takes the knife through his process for creating the signature William Henry razor edge. The art of knife making and the creation of one William Henry knife. The synthesis of these varied materials and techniques from a pencil drawing to a finished cutting instrument is a glimpse into William Henry's legacy of knife making. Welcome to the world of William Henry Knives. Every knife has its own story. <laughs>